Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 Meet the Coaches. My name is Matt Glavosky. I'm the Director of Athletics, and it's my privilege to be with you all this evening. This is traditionally a night that we do in person, an opportunity to come together, to break bread, to celebrate all the accomplishments and achievements from the previous year, and an opportunity to get excited about all the things to come. Obviously, this year will be a little bit different. Um, we couldn't be in person, but an opportunity to provide to you some virtual content, to talk about what's been going on on campus, to hear some perspective from our student athletes, from our coaches and our staff, about all the things that have happened since we were last together. But let me begin by taking a moment to first wish you all the very best. We've all been thinking about you during these very challenging and unforeseen times, but I know that we all grow stronger together as we work through this adversity. And so let me just say we are wishing you all the very best for continued health, continued safety, and I know we all can't wait to be back together again celebrating and representing the maroon and gold that we all do so proudly. So let me get, begin by that. A lot has been happening since we were last together last spring. Throughout the summer, we spent a lot of time spending working on protocols and procedures to ensure that our teams, our student athletes, would be able to safely train once they return to campus. And I'm so incredibly proud of the commitment of our student athletes and all of our teams as they have all been training since we returned in early August. They've done such a great job. They are so committed to following the guidelines, to doing the right thing each and every day, to fighting the good fight, what we always talk about. I know you'll all be so proud of them and their efforts as well. And I know we can't wait until we see our teams out competing, representing the maroon and gold on the fields of play, whether it be in the pool, on the court, in the open water, on the field. We're so very close and we're working so incredibly hard to be able to get back to what we do and love so much. So certainly a lot to be looking forward to and a lot of great things to come in this winter and certainly the spring season to come. We've been really productive this summer. We've spent a lot of time talking about capital improvements and being able to upgrade our different athletic facilities. Last year was a banner year for us as we had the opportunity to unveil the newly renovated Heinz Athletic Center Gymnasium, um, the home of our men's and women's basketball and volleyball programs. We're so incredibly proud of that effort. The Aragoni Challenge and all those who supported to support the experience of our student athletes. That space alone supports all 21 of our varsity programs. And so we're so thankful to each and every one of you for those who participated. We also unveiled the new Aragoni Hall of Fame in our interactive Hall of Fame display, an opportunity to pay homage to the history and tradition of all of our athletics program. Essentially the, op the opening of all of our athletic facilities, an opportunity to welcome recruits and families to all those who come and celebrate with us together on campus. And so that was the first very important phase of what we hope will be many important capital improvements to come. And so tonight we'll talk a little bit about some of those capital improvements that we've been working on so diligently over the summer. That starts with the opening of our refueling station, the opportunity to provide grab and go snacks for our student athletes. Before workouts, after workouts, in between classes, we're really excited about this, this exciting endeavor. A huge thank you to the Mirage Diner, who is our corporate sponsor and helps us with all the different things that go into supplying the inventory for our refueling station. But this is something that's been a year in the making. A variety of people worked. A big thank you to Kelly Shaver, our head strength and conditioning coach, who put so much time into helping this come to fruition. But this is a really important opportunity for us to support the nutritional needs of our student athletes. And so when we're all back on campus, I can't wait to show all of you what the new refueling station looks like for our student athletes. We're also upgrading our varsity strength and conditioning room, one of the most important spaces on our campus. This area provides incredible opportunities for our student, student athletes to get stronger faster. And again, this is all under the direction of our outstanding head strength and conditioning coach, Kelly Shaver, and he'll be joining us this evening to talk about the impact of this new varsity strength and conditioning area. We've expanded the footprint, all new equipment, new flooring, new turf, and really will be an opportunity for our student athletes to train at a higher level moving forward. We're really excited to show everybody what that looks like in the coming weeks. We're also upgrading our student weight room, our student cardio room, two impactful areas that support the experience of all of our students, faculty, and staff on campus. And again, can't wait for everybody to see those improvements in the coming weeks. So we're so excited about all our capital improvements, but know that all of that would not be possible without your support. Your generosity, all that you do to support the student athletes, our coaches and staff, means so much. And so thank you so much for all that you've done, not only with the Aragoni Challenge, but all that you've done to support our student athletes and through the Goal Club. And obviously there's too many people to thank, but I do want to take a moment to just recognize a few special people and a few special groups that mean so incredibly much to 
what we do each and every day to positioning our student athletes for success. And that certainly starts with the leadership of our outstanding president, Dr. Seamus Carey, who has done so much to support our student athletes. He's a tremendous advocate and supporter of all of our 21 Division I athletics program. He has been outstanding for our institution and has so many great innovative ideas to position our institution moving forward. So a huge thank you to Dr. Carey for all that he does and continues to do for our athletics program and our institution as a whole. To our board of trustees, we are so incredibly thankful and so privileged to have such an amazing group of individuals that support our institution each and every day. They do so much behind the scenes to support all that we need to do to be successful. And so to all of our board of trustees, thank you so much for all that you do and continue to do for this great institution. For all of our Gold Club members, what an amazing year it's been. It has been challenging. We have obviously been through unforeseen times. But your support has meant all the difference in our ability to be able to navigate and to adapt and to be able to be successful despite these challenging times. Your support means so incredibly much. Your generosity, all that I just talked about with our capital improvements, all that goes into supporting the needs of our student athletes each and every day means so incredibly much. But more than anything, the support in terms of you reaching out and just being there and knowing that you're with us every step of the way, that means all the difference. Thank you so much. And to all the family, friends, and all those who support the Iona community, thank you so much. We're all in this together. I know it has not been easy, but we have so much to be thankful for and so much to look forward to. And again, that is all a credit to each and every one of you. So thank you so much for all that you do behind the scenes to support all of our student athletes and our institution as a whole. Often around this time, I have the opportunity to talk about what's been happening on campus as well with our student athletes. We talk about four really important pillars. We talk about building champions in four critical areas, academics, athletics, community, and life. Last year was a banner year for all of those things. And first and foremost, that starts with excellence in the classroom. And that's what we talk about the most. That is our most important responsibility, is to position our student athletes to be successful in the classroom. And they were outstanding last year, despite some really challenging circumstances. In the spring alone, our student athletes achieved better than a 3.67 cumulative GPA. All 21 of our teams finishing with better than a 3.0 GPA. Simply outstanding, especially when you consider that we asked all of our students, really in a moment's time, overnight, to adapt to an exclusively distance learning model. They adapted, they worked together, our academic staff was outstanding, our coaches were so great and interactive with our teams, they were able to succeed despite some really challenging circumstances. I'm so incredibly proud of the academic success from last year. On the field of play, we were equally outstanding. Our fall teams, incredible success. Men's cross country, 29th consecutive conference championship, the longest active streak in the country. Women's cross country, four consecutive conference championships, 14 out of the last 15 years, simply incredible. And a huge congratulations to our men's soccer program for their first ever men's soccer MAC championship and an outstanding performance in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Our, our winter teams had an outstanding season as well. Obviously things got cut short with the impact of this pandemic, but our student athletes continued to persevere, continue to succeed despite those obstacles. And for all of our success, a second place finish in the Commissioner's Cup and a men's championship, a men's Commissioner Cup championship during some really challenging times. That is a credit to the collective excellence of our, all of our teams. And so I'm so incredibly proud of those efforts and so incredibly proud of the foundation that we laid last year that will allow us to be successful in the coming year. We talk about being great ambassadors in the community, and that is one of the most important responsibilities that we have, and that is something our student athletes take great pride in. Community service is a huge part of our opportunity to give back to the greater community, to the New Rochelle area, the greater Westchester area. That is something that our student athletes take great pride in, and they did an outstanding job again last year, contributing countless hours to our community service initiatives, and that is something that we will continue to take pride in and something that will continue to be a point of priority for us. Finally, and most importantly, we talk about being successful in life, and that's all about positioning our student athletes to be successful in their endeavors after they graduate. And talking with our alumni and seeing what they do when they go on to graduate, I'm so incredibly proud of each and one of our, every one of our alumni in terms of what they're able to do. And we believe that's all part of the foundation that we lay as part of our athletics program and part of the greater institution as whole. So, so many things to be proud of and so much to be happy for, so much to be excited for in the coming year. So this is also an opportunity for us to be able to welcome some new girls to the family. 
Um, last year we welcomed two new gales, um, starting with head women's lacrosse coach Lauren Kahn, who came on and did an outstanding job. Obviously the spring season got cut short, but we saw some amazing things from our women's lacrosse program, and I know we set the foundation for some exciting things to come. So a big welcome to head coach Lauren Kahn. We also welcomed Hall of Fame coach Rick Pitino to become our new head men's basketball coach. And we want to give a, a huge shout out to head coach, former head coach Tim Clues for his incredible accomplishments and all the things that he achieved in his tenure as our head coach. And I know that we are all wishing continued health um, and well-being to Coach Clues and his family. Um, so excited to have Coach Pitino on board. We know exciting things are to come. Um, certainly looking forward to next week during our homecoming ceremony where Coach Patino will provide an in-depth interview talking about all the things with our men's basketball program and an outlook for the upcoming season. So certainly a big, a big congratulations and a big thank you to Coach Patino for all that he's done since joining the Gale family over the summer. As I conclude tonight, I want to just take a moment again to thank each and every one of you for all that you do and all that you've done to support our Gales. We know that it's been a challenging time to each and every one of you, to LLS here in Gale Nation, but I am so incredibly proud by the perseverance, the determination, and the willingness to be able to adapt and change that we are gonna be so successful in the months and years to come because I know that we have all grown and gotten stronger from the adversity that we've faced over the last seven months. We can't wait to see you all on campus, but most importantly, we wanna to continue to wish you all the best, health, safety. We can't w wait to be all together back on campus and to celebrate with you, to represent the maroon and gold. In the meantime, continue to fight the good fight. Continue to support all of our student athletes. I know you're going to be so incredibly proud of all that they've done and continue to do. And again, your support means all the difference. Your support continues to incredibly change the experience of our student athletes in so many different ways. Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. Know that your support makes all the difference to our student athletes and all the things that will to come. We can't wait to see you on campus. We've got some great content for you tonight, and so we're so excited to share with you what's been going on on campus. But again, all the best to you and your families. Thank you so much for all that you do, and go Gales.